Hey Stampers, Gator again and i just seen a project that was um, on Pinterest and YouTube back in 2015 by the lovely Crafting with Caroline who no longer does videos from God bless her soul for this little box and it's so cute and adorable and look I've used the little stock in my little tree broke earlier um, which was only glued on halfway and you tucked this behind so I have found a, the only thing I can think of next is to glue this on the next one. I love this idea, um, but you can only fit the note cards, that standard A2 note card. You can't get the envelopes in there. It's literally just meant for the note cards. And then you put tags in here, which I haven't made yet, but we will do. Um, so I went away and I played with the measurements as you do. So I'll be having that glued on there. Have I fetched the ribbon? I, I need a little piece of ribbon. I'm sure I had it somewhere. Oh, where's it? Ah, yes, it's here. So I've got my little piece of ribbon. Just to wrap around this bit. And I wanted to, like I say, I want to give this as a gift to somebody um, maybe a friend or maybe in the card challenge sketch that we do every week so this could be up for a prize I will replace the tree <laughs> if, but the thing is the person who has this will have to use the uh, use their own envelopes which I don't think is quite fair actually if you're going to do a gift for someone you can decorate the back if you want but I'm just decorating the front I want to make it so I've got the envelopes in the back as well and then some gorgeous nice little tags as well to go in the front. So I want to complete the set. So I've readjusted everything. So this will be a part of one prize I suppose. And I'll replace the tree like I'm saying. You just want something to stop it from flicking open. Just give me two seconds actually. another little tree and that's half a one so if I glue that on the top that because it was the the pressure I think snapped it because it's only balsa wood so I've swapped it now I'm just going to glue the bottom half oh that was a good uh, bit of a good look wasn't it I'm gonna sit my little tree right on top of the other one and I'll have to wait for it to dry, obviously. It won't take long. It doesn't take long for these things to dry. So I'm going to be doing that. So what I might do is just get two little trees. Or I might use this gem that I've got here. But then I can glue dot that down just to hold it into place, isn't it? Just to tuck behind. There we go, that is glued now. So, it, oh, she says, no it's not yet, Gaina. Give it a chance to dry. <laughs> so, but that's the principle, but I'm going to make the box half an inch wider so my envelopes will fit. I am using my thick ivory cardstock. I have wrote it down as VV, very vanilla, because that's the closest you will have with your very vanilla. I'm going to leave that turned over, face down. And my tree fell off. Oh my goodness. It just needs a little bonding time. So I'll tell you what, I'll sit something quite heavy on there. I've got uh, my punch there. So I'll leave that on there for that to dry. So the pieces you will need. This is six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. This is 11 by four and three quarters. And this one is three and one eighth by six and a half. Your real red then will be two and a quarter by eleven, and this piece will be one, uh, two and an eighth by three and a half because we're going to be doing some scoring on there as well. So I'm going to get my score uh, my scoreboard out. Yeah, 
Caroline doesn't craft any well, I don't think. I've not seen anything for a long time. So with the red, this is the decoration from the outside. We're going to score this at four and three quarters, at uh, three and three quarters and four and a half. And that just gives us that little wrap around that goes on the top of the box for the decoration. And this piece is the piece that is going to sit on top of there. Just to give it a little border, how cute. And then with this small piece, this is the three and one eighth by six and a half. You're just going to score this at half inch, spin it around and score half inch. Then we're going to turn it to the side and we're going to score this at three and three and a half. So that's going to make our little tag box. The large piece you'll have to you'll put in at the long side and you'll score this at six and a half and seven and one quarter. That's all we're gonna do for that one. So that's that piece that's gonna wrap around there. Once we eyeball it and get it in the middle. That's for later. And then this piece is to hold the uh, cards in. So on the short side, score this at three quarters, flip and score at three quarters, or you could just simply score that at three quarters and five and a half. Turn to the long side, and then we're gonna score this at three and three quarters and four and a half. I'm just making sure that's three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters and four and a half. And then three quarters of an inch either side. And that's the scoring over with. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my back. So we're going to take and just cut up the sides up to the score line and mitre. Don't fold your score lines yet. And do the same with this one as well. These would be ideal in a little cellophane bag with a nice topper on the top to sell at craft Christmas craft fairs. I mean Perfect for that. We're going to do a little bit of stamping before we fold our crease lines. So don't, like I say, don't fold on them yet. Keep them as straight as you can. This one's not too bad. We're the, this is going to be the hardest one to uh, stamp. It's a tiny little stamp, that's what it is. And I'm going to go all over it with real red. Ink choice for today. And I'm just, because it's a small enough pattern, I can avoid the crease lines just by adding this tiny little stamp all over. I mean, you can fast forward this bit and come back once it's all done, but uh, it doesn't take long. I mean, you could avoid the middle section if you wanted to because the band is going to, you know, you're going to have that wrap around. You can have them as close as you want or as far apart as you want. I'm just, you know, just generally adding this pattern and keeping it as the same if I can. I think I need to go over a bit. And you could do like a, a brick wall effect. And then we're going to concentrate on the back. So I'm going to do two in. Both ends. Because my strip is going there. 
and just make sure I've got it wide enough. Yes, you don't have to waste your ink and stamp it all the way down. It just adds a lovely little pattern. Oh, I smudged that one. I mean, you, you can go wild if you want with this, but it's entirely up to you. Just making sure, you know, it's going to look pretty. So I'm going to keep these now a bit closer to each other. And I'm just going to have a little one hanging off the edge. Perfect. So that's that one. Uh, with this, you only need to do it on two sides. Um, the, well, you don't have to even do it on the bottom, but you know this fits along there cutely. So these fit down the side just right as well. These are the sides you're going to see. And then just... There's no point doing that. We're going to glue that to the box. No one's going to see it. I'll turn them now, look, just that way. I'm just going to fill that gap. So that's that one done. And the same with this. You're not going to see one of these sides. So again, you can choose to do the bottom. And then the sides. It doesn't take long, but it's worth the effort. Looks so sweet. So again. Isn't that lovely? Gorgeous little pattern. And that's from the... Oh, where's that gone? Oh, Christmas Crowd it's from. This cute little stamp set. And that's that little cluster there. And if you want to, you can even do it on this side. Because that's the bit they open and see. I used to really enjoy watching uh, Caroline. Hey, sweet girl. Nearly done. Last few. Perfect. Just now, I'm going to fold that box just for a second. And that's going to sit right at the bottom there once we've folded it in. going to town with this little pattern <laughs> but the effort's there it's worth it so that is definitely the last bit of red stamping we're going to make some tags we are going to do the cards and the cards I use those beautiful little uh, elements from the 
little book of poems by a hunky dory for my cards. The festive poetry book. The little square book of poetry. Oh, festive poetry. How sweet. So now we can get to scoring and burnishing. Folding and burnishing, sorry. Our cardstock. If you want, now you can actually you can glue this right there on the edge and then glue this right down there and then we can let that rest just while it glues let's do that now actually so we want a bit of glue time we want to let this go off properly Just lay this down, just eyeball it, you know, you haven't got to be so precise, but it's the same length, I keep that relatively straight, it's this bit here that you want to let dry, because once you start pinching that now it could, you know, lift your cardstock just giving it a gentle and because it's only sitting and wrapping round I think that is see how it's starting to lift so just allow that just pinch that closed pinch that closed I'm not rubbing too hard because it's literally just a little flap over isn't that cute so I've got this piece I'm going to add a small piece of DSP to here Oh, this is just like a border. Oh, Gaina, what have you done? Quick, quick, get it off. I've got a white ribbon to it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just wrap this around. That was a good save, wasn't it? And I'm only just adding a little touch to the bottom. And trim off the excess. Now we can glue this back on. I'd forget my head if it was loose, wouldn't I? So there goes. cute little way and do you know the, do you remember the knots I tied from the last time I used this ribbon just get that little bit peel off there I pop these little bows remember in there so I'm just going to grab a glue dot for that as well just going to roll that So we didn't let nothing go to waste. Perfect. Now we can leave that to dry for a minute. Now we can make our boxes. So what I do, I fold these first. And burnish. And because I've already stamped, I am going to glue this on the inside so there's no no catching anywhere. And I'm also going to do the same on this side. So I can glue and there's nothing to be caught up inside anywhere. Perfect, nothing to catch, nothing on. So I'm going to pull back this little flap. Add the glue and then we can add glue 
and that way as well because we've stamped it like that we know the seams are going to be at the back of the box so when we come to attach this these will all fold in to the back of the box giving you lovely lovely edges so you've got nothing there again add glue And then, whoops, add glue to this flap. Make sure that comes all the way over to the corner. I mean, you can go in there with your bone folder. If you've got bone folders square enough like that to go in. So those seams are down the back. And we're going to do exactly the same with this after we've finished. Caroline had got this like a quarter of an inch and I thought well, I'm going to add embellishments to my tags then they, I've got half an inch now I know they'll fit. So again just glue your little tab And then glue this side. And pull that round. You don't have to glue that little tab if you don't want to. It's just going to get flattened down with this, but I like everything to be a bit secure. How cute is that? We're even going to make the tags and the cards as well. That is just so cute. That you could put a little thumb notch in if you wanted, but I don't see the point. Now we're just going to glue all this box. To the bottom of this box. Edges, making sure there's no overhang, and that's perfect. You can pop your bone folder in. I mean, you don't have to do these just for Christmas, you could do them for after Christmas with little thank you cards so they can you know, send a thank you card for the gift they received. Look at that, how cute! And that is gonna that just folds over and sits on there. And then this little tag box, we're just going to place that about there. This is just the cutest thing ever. So again, I'm just going to eyeball it. Oh, I've glued it all the way to the top. Naughty girl gainer. Get it off. next door scream so I'm just gonna glue uh, three quarters of the way that glue will dry at the back there and nothing will stick to that then Giving that a chance to settle and go off. Are you loving it? That is so sweet. Right, now uh, let's get what we've got here. These are for our tags. 
I mean, I could just lit. Oh, look at that! Perfect. They could. I could literally just grab these cards here and put them in there and say, "Oh, look! I stamped either side. I did one of them. Pop them in there, and all the theme of that is all running through." But instead, we're going to make these now because these are going to stay in this box for somebody else. I'll have to do flat tags for this one. But maybe I can add a little bit of bulk on this one. So, I think that is so cute. Love it. And now we need, like I'm saying, just a nice little gem. Just there. Just to hold that in place. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I think I will use this little sprig. But I'll glue it in. I'll just glue the bottom bit. It does dry clear as well. There we go. So cute. Just give that a little bit more chance to adhere. I'm going to add, whoops, let me just, add a bit of weight on there, just to let that dry. So I've chosen these four for the cards, just so adorable. And I have got a couple in here. I'm going to have that piece of the cake. That's going to be, if it's wide enough that is. Oh my goodness. Uh, oops. Well, I might just get away with that because I want that. Uh, because that is two and that's two and an eight. I need this to be two inches. So that is going to fit that little cake in there. Lovely. By Oh my guillotine, he's unbarded <laughs> on my desk with loads of stuff on it. So you could put the verse inside the card. I am going to trim a little bit extra off that edge. Just so I'm a little bit closer. And then that was two and a quarter, two and an eighth, and two. Three and a half, three and a quarter. So I'm gonna do three and an eight. That is so mega cute. I may need this again, so leave that out. So let's see. I'm gonna gently glue this. Oh, so my battery's looking rather low. So because we didn't glue the ribbon down, I can just slide that under there. That is perfect. Look at that, how sweet is that? Oh my goodness. That's, oh yeah, that's glued down now. Oh, I'm going to leave it on there just though because I saw it jingle about then. <laughs> so I have bought with me some ribbon for the tags and I may just, these were meant to be going on the front but I thought, are they going to match this? So they're two and these are one and seven eighths believe it or not. Maybe that one's not. So these tags are two by four and will fit in there beautifully. It's got a little snowman on. I just think it's fun, isn't it? I may just turn them over. Yes, I think I'm going to do the backs. So let's get some gluing done. Keep it red and stylish, isn't it? Make 
I'm a wee bit posh. And then we can get our gift tag punch out. So hence glue them down really well because you don't want them to come apart when you put them through the tag machine. Tag punchy. It's not a machine, it's a punch. <laughs> okay, it's getting technical. How sweet. I love that small board going round. And the, the tags are just two by four. I have said that, haven't I? Oh, I'm not concentrating. Three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And we're just going to add them through. And this is the new style one. Push that all the way to the end. Oh, doesn't that want to come through? Maybe because of the glitter on there, but it has cut. And then we've got these gorgeous little tags. There we go. Just might need an extra little squeeze. Doesn't matter which way round go in now because. That's a tight squeeze. Did that get it? Really? Oh, there we go. Ooh, that was hard. Oh, let me try this then. I can't. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that was stiff. Also got here my to and from so I can tap that on the back and that is from oh that one's from an old one this is from snowflake sentiments the to and the from and I'm just gonna punch them uh, stamp that right on the back Missed a bit, so oh, watch. I'll show you how to rectify if you've missed a bit. Cute, they are handmade. So, I've got my um, real red, I'm just gonna finish off the word from. <laughs> A bit of patchworking, and then I'm going to be using that again in a minute, but we'll come to that in a sec. Oh, it's warm in here. So let's add some ribbon. I'm going to use, say, about... a bit too long so just give them a little trim down there we go 
Oh, Mr. Voice, you're a diamond. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Is that Brent's kids? Uh, grandkids? No, next door's. Well. There we go, another one. I think they're perfect to go on a little gift tag. They're so sweet. And just the cutest little things ever. And then we've only got the cards and then we're all done. Well, you could easily stamp the envelopes with, Chris with something Christmassy if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave mine plain because I have been nagging you long enough now <laughs> with all these little projects like I say you can fast forward let's see if our gem is oh, no it's not I will use my glue gun but I'll just stick it down quickly with a, a glue dot for a minute just so I can show you that it does stay together oh look at that see where that bit of uh, Glue stuck. So keeping that nice and straight. I think it might need one at the back as well. Grab my pokey tool. I'm just going to add one halfway up as well. will stay on trust me but once I've put my little tags in there now I might could have some embellishments there's plenty of space there so I just scoop it under there you go see Keep, keeping it close now there we go and our cards are here just going to give these a quick little score because I find with this paper it cracks so if I give it a little helping hand at four and one eight they're just standard A2 cards so eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths Yeah, the white card doesn't seem to crack, but this one wants to for some reason. Yeah, it's the same product, just a different colour. Perhaps they weakened it when they dyed it. <laughs> Again. Just give them a good burnish. Keep them nice and flat. What a perfect little gift to give someone. See what I mean? A little bit there. I think I might have folded that one wrong. But there we go. Right, we're on our last leg now. I'm just going to grab some scratch paper out. I'm going to grab one of my gorgeous poems. just going to add that right in the centre. So I trim these down to three and seven eighths. Beautiful. Again, I'm going to open up my ink. And we're just going to stamp that gorgeous little, I want to turn it around so the arches.
down that and then I'm going to come back the same way. Whoops, got a little red dot on there. That is beautiful. How sweet is that? So we're going to glue, we're going to dot and we're done. And fingers crossed my battery is still going. Again, find the centre. That little book is full of poems. I think there are in total 150 festive pages with 25 beautiful poems, 10 of each. So can you imagine? Um, you could make 150 cards out of them. Oh my goodness, we could have even made the tags out of them, but I don't want to ruin the poems. I wanted the poem showing on the card. So let's get this stamped out of the way. And then we can get the ink put away, because it scares me when there's this dark ink like that out. Knowing me, I'll put my elbow in it or something. Perfect. I mean, you could decorate the inside. I'm just going to leave them like little note cards. You could even use them. Oh, I just love them. Absolutely love them. So, let's turn that over. I love this cute little one with the Scotty dog on. It's just so adorable. been in no time at all and as cute as buttons they're just so pretty absolutely adorable so there we have it let me just get my my desk is teeming with stuff and it's like, oh my God, I want to scream. My OCD is kicking up. So there's our four little cards. I love that little Scotty Winter Wishes from Across the Miles, Stocking Fillers and Beneath the Christmas Tree. And then we're just going to pop them inside. I'm going to face them upwards so we can see them as soon as we open them. I will attach this so it doesn't keep flicking off. Well, I'll find something that will go there that was is a little bit stronger. And there we go. Oh, I love it. What do you reckon? So they've got two there. One with envelopes, one without. One with envelopes and one without, I'm afraid. But I will glue that down and make sure that stays. Even if I have to get my hot glue gun out. So just watch this space as they say. So if you want to enter into our weekly sketch for every four weeks, you do it for four weeks. Uh, I schedule like the last week, this week, and then two more weeks. And then you can add your entries and get a chance to win a prize like this from me. I'm going to stick that little book of on there for now. <laughs> And then, you know, you get a chance to win one of these handmade gifts. I love it. So, thank you for watching. 
thank you for staying the whole length of the video. I would love a thumbs up and a share, that would be amazing. Thank you so much as well. And if you've not subscribed, please do. <gasps> and then press the bell, otherwise you won't get notified on a daily basis, because I do post on a daily basis. So if you want, uh, come see what I'll make tomorrow. Love you all. Bye.